Hello everybody, General Discord here, and welcome back once again to Pixelmon, with the pixels and the mon. Uh, if I sound a little bit different, maybe a little bit echoey, that's because I am not at my apartment recording right now. I'm actually at my parents' house in, in the mountains. I almost said the town where we're at, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tell you guys that. Um, but in the mountains here, uh, recording, so I'm in a different place. A little bit of an enclosed bedroom right here. Little walls aren't quite uh, the most absorbent of sounds, so I sound a little like we. Uh, if that's the case, you know, I'll, I'll just say that in future videos, but I'm on vacation this week. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, but first off, here in this episode, first thing we're going to do, I need to repair the shovel. This shovel right here. My Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4. That's the gravel digger. That's the thing I use to find fossils. And look at that. Just enough levels. And actually, look at that. I got, I got, I got no levels down here. Not a single level. Wow. That's crazy. Anyway... Uh, as you can see, the only guy in my inventory today is Charizard. He's looking very grumpy today. Uh, the reason for this is because today's episode, uh, we're going we're gonna to take it a little easy today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go farm some bosses, some boss Pokemon. And I will tell you how we're going to do that. Uh, there is an island out in the ocean a good ways away. Uh where it is much easier than usual uh, to get bosses to spawn. So we go there when we want to farm items. Today we're going to do that episode. I'll talk to you a little bit about how this uh, particular mechanic works, and we're going to be doing that. Uh, first, let's take a look at the Poke Center. We were here last time. I just want to see if uh, Half or Star made any changes in here. Lost and found. Anything good in Lost and Found? Uh, some nearly broken diamond hammers. Finders keepers. Eh, it's not bad. Choice scarf, yeah. The choice items, yeah. That's that's a great, great gift there. Thanks. And they still haven't finished down here. Still have not done anything. It's chickens. Bunch of chicken eggs. That's half for you. Always with the chickens. Uh, anyway, let's go on over to the boss island. We've got everything set up there that we need in order to properly farm bosses. There's a bed, there's a PC there to put any captured Pokemon there. Uh, there's a healer and an ender chest. Also a crafting table, which you don't really need for any reason, but I put it there anyway because ha ha ha. And I, I can't take credit for most of the stuff that's there. That, I believe, was uh, half who put most of that there because he's the one who found the island. Sorry. What was that? Oh, that's Vibrava. I thought I saw like a green, green weird guy. And I was confused. But anyway, uh, Half put most of the stuff out here. He's the one who found the island. And it's a it's a weird thing uh, that the spawning mechanics work the way they do in this game. Uh, so anyway, let's go on over to the island here. It's always a challenge to try and find it. There's a couple guys over here. Oh, they're Goldians. We don't care about those. And the trick is right now to load in the chunks as quickly as I can without landing this guy because he can't he can't uh, he can't surf <laughs> uh, this isn't the island right here but right here you can see what I'm talking about in terms of this you see a bunch of these guys spawning out here and that's because there's no other land around we're far away from all the uh, different land chunks out here that'll spawn mobs so this is what happens there's a bunch of guys out here. Um, so basically, my challenge now is to find the actual island. I think it's down this way, but I could be wrong. I always seem to get lost when I'm trying to find it. That's always the uh, challenge that old Discord has. <laughs> uh, where you is, island? Eh, don't, don't go in the water, Charizard. I don't want to swim. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not this way. Mm hmm. This music is just so uplifting. And I'm annoyed that I can't find this. And it doesn't... The music doesn't fit! Arr! It's making me angry. Not really. I'm just, I'm just pretending for video. It's hilarious. Trust me. It's hilarious. Uh, oh, is this it over here? This might be it over here. Aha! No, that's not it. This is a different island of Pokemon. Hmm. Hmm. 
I think I'm lost, guys. I think I'm lost. Okay, there's a jungle there. That's supposed to be by a jungle. I think it's back this way. Uh, let me cut out here real quick, guys, and I'll go find this place, because I'm lost. I'm so lost. Be right back with you. There it is. I found it. I found it. It took me a little while, but I found it. Up into the water. There we go. Okay, so this is the island right here. Ooh, I will take that, because that is always useful. Except that's not really. Oh, and look at this. There's a boss right over here already. Look at him. Look at him. Let's go. Let's go roast him. See what he drops. So as you can see, this is a lot easier medium for spawning bosses here. Oh, he's a level 20, huh? Yeah, this flamethrower will take care of him. Holy cow at the solar beam. Wow. What? Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Charizard. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, well, that was that was quick. That was a quick failure right there. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this guy. Come on. Come on, Charizard, you can do it. Okay, round two, round two. Let's try the heat wave first. Mm, don't use that white guard. It's cheaty. Bubble beam, that's what it was. One shot, no effect. Okay, you're mine now. You're toast. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just keep using that. Yeah, no effect. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what we got. All right, let's see here. Ether, meh. Love ball, meh. Love ball, meh. There's, there's a lot of junk you get from these bosses right here. But this is what I'm going to be doing in the episode here. I'm going to be farming these guys here. So, you know, it'll, it'll take a little while between these things. I'm going to be cutting back and forth a lot. But anyway, let me show you what we do here. Uh, like I said, we got the ender chest. We got the computer. We got the healer. We got everything we could possibly need here. Um, so, let me show you what the method is. So basically, you just send out a flying Pokemon. And you fly up into the air above the cloud level because that's out of the spawn range. And once you're out of the spawn range, all those guys down there despawn. And then as you're coming back down, once you get into range, they start spawning again. It spawns a whole new group of guys, and there's a higher chance that uh, there might be a boss mixed in somewhere. Not a very high chance, mind you. And most of the bosses you'll probably get just a bunch of junk from. But uh, that's the technique that we use. I like to do this in F5 mode because uh, it's a little easier to see around. You know, you can see behind you and see over little uh, ledges there that you wouldn't see someone hiding behind. See a little, little boss guy hiding behind. They, they're kind of tricky sometimes. They like to hide. Yeah, a bunch of junk here. I also brought a bunch of uh, balls here. I brought some level balls, uh, dive balls, and an ultra ball. And some ultra balls just in case I find something special like a, like a super rare guy or like a shiny. Because I have one shiny from this island. Just the one. But we're always looking for more. So yeah, that's basically uh, what this whole technique is right here. You just fly up out of uh, spawn range and then gently drift back down and see if there's any bosses. And if there's not, you just fly back up. Uh, this is also a really easy way to uh, farm experience. You know, you just send out the one guy that you want to level up an experience against some of these guys and just just farm away. But we're not doing that today. We're here to fight bosses. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up and down like this, flying up in the air and drifting down slowly, and I'm going to see when bosses show up. And when they do, I'll uh, bring you guys back in uh, so I can see you guys when something shows up. Well, 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 look what we got here. Got ourselves a little green boss. And he wants to fight. So let's roast him. Let's roast him. Let's get it done. Oh, look at that. One hit. Oh, such sad. And an ice heal. Not useful. Hey, what do you want? I don't want to fight you. You got nothing for me. Take that flamethrower to the face. Yeah, so there's there's going to be a lot of nothing that I get from these guys right here. Like like an ice heal, that's that's not so good. I don't I don't need nothing for that because I, I really don't use potions at all. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight you either. Leave me alone. You have nothing that interests me. All right. Back to the skies. 
literally the next trip up and down from the last time. And there's another one of these guys. Another green dwebble. He's going to taste our wrath. Have some wrath! I think he gave him a little better thing. A nest ball. I don't even know what that does. Ultra ball and leaf stone. Yeah, because I don't have 50 leaf stones already. Actually, it's probably like 10, but you, you know, it's... It's, it's an exaggeration for comedic effects. I, I do those a lot. Don't judge me. I hear you judging me. Don't judge me. Okay, maybe not judge me. Anyway, back into the air. Well, what do we have here? Big ol' slowpoke boss. Let's see if we can get a screenshot with this guy. Nope, wanna run away? Wanna run away? Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Nope. 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 Come back. Come back. Come on. I want a picture with you. Nope. 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 Okay. Maybe a selfie is not the best way to go with this guy. Would you move it, little blue clam? Urgh. Stop moving. Wait. Wait. Face me. Come on, man. I just want to take your picture. I don't have time for this bubble. What do you think you're doing? Try to take a picture of this guy. He keeps running away from me. Oh, come on. Face me, dude. Face me. That's not a good one. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you dead. Man, these bosses. It's been a while since I got one. It's been about almost 20 minutes since the last one I got. So it's, it's they don't spawn very quickly. That's for sure. Oh, you healed yourself, huh? Think you're you think you're so smart. Think you're so smart. Up. Oh, nope. I don't have any more Pokemon. Come on. You're so smart healing yourself. Stop healing yourself! Shoulder. Oh, come on, man. That ain't cool. Shoulder. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Roast them, Charizard. Yeah, come on. Come on. One more. You got this. You got this. Shoulder. Yeah. He did. <sighs> Hardly even worth it. <laughs> Like I said, most of the things the bosses drop, not very good. It's really rare that you get anything that's worthwhile. Like, you know, I don't know, a Master Ball might be nice. Master Ball would be great. I don't know, just a suggestion. Up oh, now it's raining, so I have to sleep. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, don't do this, 1.6. As you can see, a legendary spawned in the ocean here. Hey, Kyogre, or Kyogre, however you say his name. I couldn't find him. Yeah, I'm not good at finding those guys. Anyway, back to the grinding. Okay, not a boss, but I have not seen these guys spawn before out here. That's kind of cool. I want to see if I can catch him. Uh, first, let's try and do something like this. Let's do something like this. See if we can just catch him. I have not seen a lapper spawn out here before. Which is why I kind of want to catch him right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll keep keep trying the level ball here. Like I said, I don't want to kill this guy. And that guy, I think, can surf. So he would be a much more efficient way to get over to the island than flying around and losing my way constantly. You know what I should do? I should build another portal out here. Maybe one that's slightly off the ground. Oh, I caught him. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Um, let's see, I saw something else in here that was kind of neat. You. Oh, a horsey! Oh, and another guy over here. Cedra. Let's catch the horsey, guys. Let's get this guy. We're going to use a level ball, because level 100 versus level 14, that's a good matchup. I'll take that matchup. Let's see, you going to get him? You going to get him first try? I think we're going to get him. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. 
Let's take a look at our new guys here real quick. Let's see, Lapras, level 45. Water and Ice. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sing. Water Gun. Rain Dance. Brine. That's a good move. He's huge, and he's jolly. Oh, how lovely. And let's see, the Horsey. Mm-hmm. He's cute. He's a water type. Water Gun. He's only got the Water Gun attack. It's the only attack he has. He's huge, and he's also jolly. Oh, oh, oh. Two jolly guys in a row. It's like it's like a Santa Claus convention here. That doesn't make any sense. Let's see, where's my water type? Where's my water types? Where's water? There's the water types. Let's add you and add you. Oh, how nice. Up, oh, and now this guy wants to fight, and he's gonna get wrecked. Oh, I told you you get wrecked. I told you you get wrecked. Well, that was a nice little surprise. I wasn't expecting to catch anything, but hey. There we go. Two new Pokemons. Okay. I am going back to the skies, and I'll see you guys when I see another boss or anything else interesting. Okay. Here's a big guy right here. This is a yellow boss. And from my experience, these guys are not only the toughest, but they also drop the best stuff, usually. Usually, I say. Oh, no, not you. I'm level 30. I want the big guy. Come here. No, not you. No. You. Right there. No. Yeah. Ooh, level 140. No. Holy cow. These guys are not easy to beat. <laughs> the yellow no. ones are very tough. <laughs> no. Let's see if we can get them, though. Well, I'll use Psychic, huh? Have some no. more Flamethrower. No. Ooh. Gotta take him out on this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, look at all the stuff he dropped. No. All of it's useless. Antidote, Awakening, Safari Ball, Rostberry, Power Belt, Flash no. Cannon, Dubious Disc. Well, like I said, they drop a lot of stuff, but it's not always good stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Bunch of bunch of junk so far. It's been a while since the last boss. Like I said, it's a slow process. Hopefully I find enough to make a full episode. Otherwise, this might be short, because I'm getting a little bored flying up and down constantly. <laughs> anyway, be back with you guys when I find something. I see you there, green slow bro. I see you there. You want some of this? Oh, miss. Oh, that's not good. Don't miss Charizard. Oh, it's raining heavily. That's nice. Oh dear. Charizard's confused, and it's raining. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this is very bad. There you go. There you go. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make this one. Oh dear. Oh boy. Uh, heat wave. Try it. Yes! Ah. Uh, bunch of junk. Bunch of bunch of junk from that guy. Mm, 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 mm. Don't appreciate the junk, man. It's a bunch of garbage. All trouble you put me through, give me a bunch of garbage. Mm -mm. We don't like that. We don't like that one bit. Part of me wonders if it's even worth to fight this guy. Oh, he wants to fight me. Huh? There we go. Yes. Not very effective. Awesome. Heat wave, critical hit. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> ah! Blast! He defeated us. Uh, we're not giving up that easily. No way. We want those. We want those items, whatever they may or may not be. Come here. Come here, you. No, not you. This guy. That's the guy we want. Mm -hmm. oh, he healed me. That's That was nice of him to heal me. Hmm. How many moves does this guy have? How many moves does this guy seriously have? That's like... That's gotta be at least five different moves. 
Well, thank you for healing me. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Zen headbutt. I could swear he didn't have Zen headbutt. This is a completely different guy. I don't know about this. Okay, we killed him. Uh, Sunstone, Moonstone, Orb, Ultra Ball. Not very exciting, not gonna lie. I already have a bajillion Sunstones and Moonstones that have no use for me. <sighs> mm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check right, right quick here and see what I'm at in terms of episode length, because uh, it might be, might be getting pretty done here, because I'm kind of bored of this now. <laughs> um, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. I think this is gonna be the last boss right here, because I need to take a nap. <laughs> I am having trouble keeping my eyes open here, doing this repeatedly. So this is gonna be the last boss, and we're gonna end the episode. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at you. You are just toast. Toast on a bun. Whatever that means. And he drops nothing interesting. Duskball, Metronome, Magmarizer. So here's the... Uh, oh, someone else wants to fight. Someone who is much less... Uh, much less good at fighting. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, hopefully it's about 20 minutes or so. I, I, I hope so. Um, I'll see in editing if it is. I'm, I'm maybe optimistic it is. Uh, here's the hall. Bunch of junk. Just a bunch of junk. Nothing that's really any good to us at all. But that's the risk you run when you farm bosses like this. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. This guy wants to fight. He's going to get roasted. First hit. Yeah, he done. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it, as always. Uh, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed that video, and uh, tune in next week for the next episode of Pixelmon. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.